what's going on guys we are back we are going to be opening up a SGC reveal uh, today uh, this is going to be coming from Boca Raton um, it's one of the Facebook groups out there I will go ahead and put the name of the Facebook group in my title in case anyone is interested in submitting to them uh, basically they are a group submission they charge 25 bucks a card to grade to have your card graded by SGC. Of course, you could always go directly to SGC. Price for doing that is $30 per card. Uh, these guys uh, do it a little bit cheaper, and um, you know they wipe down your card. Everything it's full service for $25. So uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. There's several of those groups out there, so. Uh, definitely, uh, if you're interested in submitting to SGC, um, you know, find yourself a good, trustworthy group where you can submit cards to and, uh, you know, save yourself a few bucks doing that. So, i um, opening this up so that uh, you can see how well he packs these cards up. So, you can see... You know, very good packing. And the good thing about uh, this group is that your order comes in exactly how you would get it directly from SGC with the Tuxedo Time sticker box and the whole nine yards. So I believe other groups, uh, you would just get these like in a, you know, uh, after you know package deal type thing so so here I'm breaking the seal for this box so but you could also see if you've created with SGC in the in the past you know that this is not how they normally come they normally come with um, rubber bands around them and then your paperwork um, attached to it so I'll go ahead and put these over here nothing else in the box so let me zoom in just a bit so that we can see what's going on here and here we go so the first one here is a Tre Trevor Lawrence uh, 2021 score from SGC, we have 9.5. If you remember this, I bought this card in a, uh, in when I bought a couple of uh, hobby, hobby packs, when I went up to Seoul. So uh, those two hobby packs cost me, uh, I think they were like 70 bucks or so. So uh, looking probably to move that for, for some, some money so I could try to recover those $70 I spent on those hobby packs. This is a 2018 Revolution Luka Doncic uh, rookie card and got a 9.5 on this. So again, very nice uh, Luka card. Very nice, uh, pretty good grade too. Uh, this is 2019 Contenders Optic. I believe this was a case hit and um, what I'm kind of, you know, not really disappointed, but I had seen somewhere where SGC was um, the uh, black, you know, frame around the uh, card. I, apparently for some die cuts, they cut it to where you don't have this, you know, uh, transparent plastic through it, right? So it looks like this was not the case on this one. And got a 9.5 on this one. Very nice. This was a 19, eight, or a 2018 uh, studio. I believe it was a green parallel. And got a 10. Very nice. Uh, this was a 2015 Prism. I believe it was the orange. 
uh, number out of 65 for Norman Powell. Of course, he's with the Portland Trailblazers now. Um, and maybe uh, they're looking at shaking some things up there. Um, you know, right now they're up in the air who's going to get traded, who's staying between Lillard and McCollum and everything else. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with him next year. So we got a 9.5 on this. Got a couple of these um, 2009 Bowman uh, Denmark DeRozan, number out of 1948. Uh, these have the blue border around them. Again, uh, Demar DeRozan is a free agent at the end of the year. And he's rumored to be shopping around, trying to go to a big market, possibly the Lakers. So I think if he ends up going to a contender, I think uh, his rookie cards are probably going to spike. So got 8.5 on this. And then same one. Another 8.5. This was a uh, Bobby Dalbeck uh, Heritage. I pulled this out of a um, either a blaster or a hanger. I forgot which one it was. It's his rookie auto out of Heritage. Got a 9.5. Bobby Dalbeck. Ron Acuna, this is his rookie, uh, numbered uh, 698. So this is not the bat down or anything like that, but this is his most, um, you know, flagship rookie per se, right? And got a 10 on this. So one of my goals has been to get one of the gold pristine labels. So in case you don't know what that is, uh, it's basically a 10 label like this, but instead of being black, it's in gold. Um, it's supposed to be the equivalent uh, standard, you know, requirements uh, such as the BGS black label. So uh, very tough to come by. Uh, you know, I hope someday I can pull one or two. So we'll see. So this is a uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, just a beautiful card overall. A little bit older card, so it's a pretty tough grade. And we got a nine. So, not too bad. I'll take it. I'm going to save these two for last because they are definitely my favorite cards. This is 1992 Michael Jordan um, sticker. And this is what I was talking about on the other one on the die cut. So the black border around the tux uh, fit the sticker just well. And you see they put the sticker inside a penny sleeve as well. So very, very good job by uh, SGC. And this got a four. And you can see why it got a four is because of that major print line going left and right. And then another print line going up and down here. So, but yeah. Justin Jefferson, this is a 2020 uh, select number out of 49. Again, um, having high hopes for Justin Jefferson this year. Uh, going into the second season, I think he's going to have a breakout season. And I'm hoping that uh, the Vikings could, you know, use him as one of their main threats. And got a 10 on this. That shine is pretty nice on that card. Uh, 2020 uh, select Joe Burrow Concourse Prism. So, uh, needless to say, I think he's gonna, you know, uh, have a chip on his shoulder because he was injured. You know, he went out uh, due to injury last year. So, I'm hoping that he bounces back and has a good season. So, we'll see. I got a nine on this one. So, Hopefully I could break even on that one. Uh, you know, it is what it is. 
Uh, this is a 2020 Select Justin Herbert. This is club level prism silver, you know, 9.5. Beautiful. This is uh, 2020 Select. This is uh, Justin Herbert, feel level orange. Justin Herbert, so the orange die cut, you can see it's die cut on each corner here. Um, you know, got a 10. Beautiful card. This is the Joe Burrow 2021 fill level uh, prism. No, this is the base card. Um, again, if I was uh, buying these cards again, I probably would not be buying base fill level. I would probably be buying prism uh, silvers. So uh, here we go. 9.5. Not too bad. So this is a 1955 Jim Thorpe. Beautiful card. The back. We got a three. So again, I think that stain that might have caused a huge, uh, you know, cause it to get knocked down quite a bit. But when I was look, looking at the stain closely, when I had it raw, uh, it wasn't like a uh, gum stain or nothing like that. It was. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it was more with the pigmentation of the colors um, in that little area. And lastly, we're gonna finish this off with the Satchel Page, uh, one of my most, you know, one of my favorite cards. And got it too. Again, a beautiful card. Uh, you know, you see some crease right here, but. You know, it's kind of expected when cards are this old. It is what it is. Uh, but just know that this card has a uh, through and through crease from left and right. Right almost at the middle of the card. But besides that, I think uh, it's not too bad. I mean, you could barely notice the the crease. You have to kind of get at a right angle to the light to, to see it. But overall, uh, these are my latest SGC cards and uh, if anyone is interested in any of these cards let me know and we could definitely uh, make some deals all right guys take care out there be safe and talk to letters